If you are interested in the ESMIP data, but you will not contribute to ESMIP with your own climate impact model simulations based on our protocols, please follow our data access instructions for external users. Access to the ESMIP inputs and output data for external users is provided via the ESMIP node at the Earth System Grid Federation ESGF, as well as through our new ESMIP repository, a service hosted by the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research PIC. For simulation rounds Fast Track and ESMIP2, ESGF was the repository of all public ESMIP data. With simulation round ESMIP3, we started migrating all of our ESGF data to the new ESMIP repository. We expect to commission our ESGF repository by 2022, when the new ESMIP repository will become the only point of access for external users. Please note that since January 2020, all FastTrack data is no longer publicly available. We recommend you instead to use the data from simulation route ESMIP 2B, since this was created on the basis of much improved bias corrected climate models. Each ESMIP repository has a different way to display the data, but both contain a series of filters to help you find the dataset of your interest. You can select among different simulation rounds, types of product, types of dataset, and many other filters. To access the ESMIP data via our ESGF repository, you first need to have an open ID. If you do not have one yet, please create an account. New open IDs are managed by your partner nodes at DKRZ. If you already have an open ID on a different ESGF node, you don't need to create a new one, as your account works federation-wide. Once you have created an account, you can log in and start the search. Let's assume, for example, that we want to download the bias-corrected near-surface relative humidity dataset for simulation round ismip 2 b this simulated atmospheric climate dataset is described in the input data table on our website as well as in the ESMIP 2B protocol. Once you find the dataset of your interest, you can either download individual files, an entire dataset, or all displayed results. To download entire datasets in bulk, you can use tools like WGET. For using the ESGF API, you can consult the tutorials shown in the landing page of our ESGF node. Let's now look at our new ESMIP repository. Data search here can be done using either the tree or the facets view. Filtering options are similar to those on ESGF. Let's now repeat our search for the ESMIP 2B near surface relative humidity datasets using the facets view filtering options. We select the simulation round, the data product, the input category, and subcategory, and the variable. Again, once you have found the dataset of your interest, you can choose to download an individual file, all files in a dataset, or all datasets thrown by the search. In the new ESMIP repository, we have enabled additional tools to configure your download. This could help you reduce the data to an area of interest, reducing this way the size of the files to download. Within the documentation tab, you can find the specific instructions for downloading by bulk using WGET and the API of our new ESMIP repository. External users of ESMIP data should pay special attention to the ESMIP terms of use for publicly available data. In this, we specify how to adequately credit the data providers and the restrictions in use for a dataset depending on its assigned license. ESMIP has recommended different types of licenses a long time, reflecting the evolving discussions on licensing. You can read more about database producer rights, license inheritance, and legal consequences of licenses on our website. 
as of ECMIF 3, we encourage the use of CC0, public domain dedication for all model output. Under CC0, all copyright interests and database rights are waived, so we consider this perfectly suitable to use with ECMIF data. You can find the license information of a dataset within its description. On ESGF, licenses are associated to two different data access policy groups, the ESMIP Research Only Group or the ESMIP Unrestricted Data Access Group. You will be asked to join either of these groups when attempting to download a file. In a pop-up window, you will be asked to accept or decline the ESMIP Terms of Use for each of these policy groups.